beautiful thing about love is that it's an experience we share with all people throughout the world. And yet, to everyone who falls in love, it's the most unique and precious thing in the world. A really happy marriage is founded on love. There is nothing in life that love cannot change. Love is, of its nature, unselfish, understanding and kind. True love, too, is a commitment of heart and mind. There is no stronger bond than like love. Trent and Kiara have found this with each other. <coughs> Their commitment is strong and unwavering. Their marriage will be based on true understanding of each other. As two different people, they come together to complete one another. This day is the start of their married life. Their commitment to each other will continue to strengthen and deepen as each year passes. They ask you all to be a part of this. Who <laughs> brings Kiara to the Barry Street today? Another high day. Job pretty quick, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Brian. <laughs> Do a nice little reading now called Always Remember. I think this is a nice lesson for us all. Treat yourselves and each other with respect and remind yourself often of what brought you together. Give the highest priority to tenderness, gentleness and kindness that your connection deserves. When frustration, difficulty and fear assails your relationship, as they threaten all relationships at one time or another, remember to focus on what is right between you, not only on the part which seems wrong. And that way you can ride out the storms when the clouds hide the face of the sun in your lives. Remember that even when you lose sight of it, for a moment, the sun is still there. And if each of you takes responsibility for the quality of your life together, it will be marked by abundance and delight. Like I said before, my name is Garland Anderson and I am duly authorised by law to solemnise marriages according to law. Trent and Tiara. Before you are joined in marriage, in my presence and in the presence of these witnesses, I am to remind you of the solemn and binding nature of the relationship in which you are now about to enter. Marriage, according to law in Australia, is the union of a man and a woman to be entered into for life, voluntarily entered for life, to the exclusion of all others. Trent and Kiara, the moment has now come to give a clear expression to the strength of the bond between you both. To do so openly, honestly and freely, in the presence of your family and friends who will be a witness to your sincerity. Treat, you take Kiara to be your lawful wedded wife. Will you love her, comfort her, honour and keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others? Keep only under her for as long as you both shall live. And Kiara, do you take Treat to be your lawful wedded husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honour and keep him in sickness and in health. Forsaking all others, keep only unto him for as long as you both shall live. Jensen Kiara, you are about to make promises to one another. These marriage vows and beautiful words represent even more beautiful intention. You will find as you live these vows over the years, investing your time, your love and commitment to one another, the happy times will be twice as happy because there will be somebody to share these special times with you. And when life gets tough, it will only be half as bad because there will be somebody by your side.
Very nice. Okay, we've got some rings, please. <laughs> <laughs> Today, you marry your best friend. Dachin by Elizabeth Cooper. Today you marry your best friend, your bond complete, it has no end. You share one soul, you share one heart, a perfect time, a perfect start. With these rings you share together, the love so close to last forever, the special day to special hearts, let nothing keep this love apart. I treat the new tiara, this ring is a symbol of my commitment to you, as powerful and as endless as the sea. Hi Kiara, you new trend. This ring is a symbol of my commitment to you, as powerful and as endless as the sea. I'm now going to ask Matthew and Billy to come forward. Julie. And with love and affection, they will bind Trent and Kiara's hands together with these beautiful ribbons. symbolise the continuing bond of marriage as two souls unite for life on their wedding day. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that hold yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow and forever. As these hands work, sorry, these are the hands that work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that passionately love and cherish you throughout the years and with the slightest touch comfort you like no other. These are the hands that hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that tenderly hold your children. These are the hands that help you to hold your family as one. These are the hands that give you the strength and these other hands that even when age will still be reaching for yours, still giving you that same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Can I give you a bit now? <laughs> <laughs> to love is not to possess. To love is not to possess. To own or imprison, nor to lose oneself and another. Lovers to join and separate, to walk alone and together, to find a laughing freedom that loneliness, isolation does not permit. It is finally being able to be who you really are, no longer clinging to childish dependency with no soul loving separate lives and silence. 
but is to be perfectly oneself and perfectly joined in permanent commitment to one another and to one's inner self. Love only endures when it moves like waves, receding and returning gently or passionately or moving lovingly like the tide in the moon, the moon's own prediction, predictable harmony. Because finally, despite childish scars or adult deepest wounds, we are openly free to be who we really are and always secretly were and the very core of their being, where true and lasting love can alone abide. Friends and Kiara, we have heard you promise to share your lives together in marriage. We recognise and respect the vows you have made here before us. What makes your marriage real and meaningful is the honesty and the sincerity of the vows you have pledged to each other. By the virtue of the authority invested in me, I now pronounce you to be husband and wife. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, There'll be a short musical interlude while we sign the legal paperwork. <laughs>